Okay guys, Matthew Mr. V here. I'm at court and I'm going to purchase a TV without paying the full price. How am I going to do it? Watch this. Welcome to Math with Mr. V, where math is easy as one, two, three. This is the TV I want. We're going to talk to the lady. Good morning, sir. Morning, morning. Welcome to court. This is the TV. I love it. I want it right now. But I'm scared of the cash price. Don't worry about that price. We have something called a higher purchase price where you can put down a deposit and then pay monthly installments. So we can put down a little bit of money and then every month. Oh, okay. Let me go check the system if we have it, okay? Do that, do that. She thinks I have money, <laughs> but we don't have none. <laughs> well, shh, shh, up, shh, up, shh, up. We have the TV in stock. Okay, perfect. Me love it. Right this way, like, we're going to start the process. Okay, so we're going to quickly write down the values. The cash price was $151,450. The deposit, I'm going to make a deposit of $64,000 on this TV. And then the monthly payments, when I spoke to the clerk, would work out to be roughly $40,000. And I'm only doing this over a three-month period. Now, the total amount of money that I would pay, that is, the high purchase price, is going to be the deposit plus three times the monthly payment. So I'm going to quickly jot down these numbers, all right? And I'm interested to find out what the total payment is. So that's going to be three times 40000 which gives me $120,000. But I'm going to put down the $64,000 first, and then I'm going to add $120,000. I'm then going to grab my calculator, and then I'm going to put $120,000 plus $64,000. And there I have it. $184,000 is my higher purchase price. Easy. And the rain is pouring. No. What if I wanted to find out how much I would have saved if I paid in cash? I find the difference between the higher purchase price and the cash price. All right, that's all there is to it. I put that in my calculator, and that's thirty-two thousand five hundred and fifty. But is this a full story? We'll find out later. Okay, so you just saw the difference between the cash price as well as the higher purchase option. And you're probably wondering, why is there a difference between these numbers? And I'm here to tell you exactly why. One, you have to understand that the seller is taking a risk. I mean, they're giving you the television without you paying the full price, okay? So that is a convenience for you, not for them, for you to have this item. Two, you also have to understand that there's a lot of flexibility with getting this. Let's say that you're a, I don't know, let's say that you're a vendor, okay? You sell the best fries in Montego Bay, for example. Now you're able to purchase it. You need to support your family, right? You need to bring that income in. You would have had this item. You'll be using this item. You'll be generating income without having paid the full price. That's a win-win to me, all right? So you have to look at that as one of the benefits of going with the higher purchase option. Number three, devaluation of the dollar. And what do I mean by devaluation? Now, let's just say devaluation is your money is worth less in the future than it is today, all right? So to avoid that, we would say, you know what? It's better for us to do the higher purchase option. Let's say that you wanted to save it. So like, ah, no, 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 I'm going to save my money, okay? I'm not going to give them that no higher purchase option. Okay, all right, fair enough. By the time you have saved that money, the dollar might have devalued. 
as of such, the seller is going to raise his price. All right. So that's something that we definitely have to look into. Okay. Now, I told you guys I had a big, big surprise. I mean, it's big, but I, at least I think it's big. And I'll tell you exactly what it is. So, as you know, I've been doing these videos for the past couple of weeks. And, you know, I've made contacts with some of the persons who actually make math videos on YouTube. And we're actually going to do a collab. Yes, there's going to be a collab math video. His name is Kerwin Springer. I'm going to put a link to his channel. Excellent stuff. Feel free to check it out. And we're going to be doing a collab video just for you guys. All right? He's all the way in Trinidad. And I'm all the way here in Jamaica. So we're actually going to work on something for you guys. And I trust and hope that you guys will love it. All right. And I'm doing this because I want you guys to have a real sense of the mathematics. I think we have lost the importance. Why do we need math? All right. And that's why we're trying to help, you know, try to answer that question via this channel. All right. So stay tuned. Look out for that. It will take some planning, but hey, we're going to work. We're going to make it happen. All right. And I know, I know I've seen some request videos. I'm working on it. All right. Everything in time, everything in time and in moderation. So SBAs are coming up. I'll be making a video on that. I'm going to show you a video of me actually performing an SBA right in front of your eyes. All right. So that, that, I think you guys might like it. And I'm going to, I'll be involved in technology in this whole perspective. So stay tuned. Math and Mr. B. Easy. Easy. As one, two, three. Stay tuned. Right this way. All right. <laughs> <laughs>